Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Fire Force Season 2, Episode 3. Just before I'd like to get into the episode, I would like to say that I've been having some issues with uh, Fire Force Season 2 on my channel. It only seems to be Fire Force Season 2. Both Episode 1 and 2 have received copyright claims uh, from some group, uh, which I can't remember the name of, but I might just put it on screen right now, it depends. Um, but it seems to just... Be, uh, I've like researched the group and like that and they're not anything to do with the actual um, animation team or whatever production team behind Fire Force it seems to just be a group that goes around flagging people's videos and lots of people have had problems with this group in the past um, so I don't know how it's going to change now on this video um, you can see episode 1 on my channel I think whereas you can't see episode 2 but I can see both episodes in my YouTube uh, studio and for some reason, like, it's not a proper copyright claim where it makes you delete the video. It's just, like, a warning copyright claim. But it, I still, like, they're both claimed. And I don't know. It only says they're blocked in Italy, it seems to think. It seems to be. But it just it doesn't seem like either of them are viewable. I don't know. Hopefully it changes with this video because now on this video, on, like, the last Fire Force video, I have the new uh, layout for the video. And maybe it won't get caught in the copyright this time. I don't know. Uh, if anybody has any advice for this, please let me know. Uh, I don't know how I'd go about claiming them, whether it'd fall under fair use, what I do or whatnot, whether I'd just be bringing unwanted attention to my channel. I don't know. But either way, let's get right into the video right now. <clears throat> that surely has to mean a yes, right? <clears throat> yeah, a new pillar's about to be born. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I googled the his his voice actor is um Erwin from Attack on Titan. And his voice actor is uh, Saitama and uh, Shirogane. Shirogane from uh, Kagi Sample as well. I recognize both their voice actors. It's so good. Just going to step on him again. So does that mean that a person actually is about to be born uh, with an Adelaide burst? Or it's someone who's about to awaken an Adelaide burst? Um, so that'd be interesting. I think it'd have to be someone who'd awaken because they can't really drag a, like a, a newborn baby into the fire force, obviously. So I'm going to be interesting to find out. So like I was saying through the just before the I start the episode as well. Um yeah, if there's any problems with this, like with the other two Fire Force episodes <clears throat> like a copyright claim or anything, I don't know how I'm gonna go about with this series in the future. Because not only is it like a risk to my channel, but also like it's pointless uploading the videos if nobody can see them. And it's really a shame because I love Fire Force and this season's gonna be a banger. So I will try and do any way I can, even if I just like have to upload a reaction with nothing, just with a timer, and then I'll put like a full reaction on like Google Drive or Mega or something for people who want to see that. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Uh, hopefully this goes up. Hopefully I can... 
like me even saying this to you guys goes up so you know what's been going on why episode two probably isn't shown on my channel episode one seems to be there but i just don't know because there hasn't been any like comments or anything on it recently so i don't know if you see this and you can see episode one even episode two on my channel please go and comment on them so i know that'd be really appreciated And of course, yeah, the fourth captain was Brock, like I thought. <laughs> but that was obvious. He's got such a known voice. Yeah. Why was he going to the fourth captain again? What was his reason for going? Mm. <laughs> Arthur was so cool in the last episode. It's so sad with Arthur's backstory as well, though. I want to know not more of that. I want to know why his parents abandoned him. What the hell? I'm glad he's kind of like painted over that memory in his head though, so he's not like really sad about it. And that's where you get his like knightly, kingly thing from. Yeah, good question. Good job, Arthur. I think I have an idea of who the fifth person is, just from what we've seen so far. Fire Defense Agent your Chief, okay. Look at you actually in a suit for once and not it, just with your muscles up. Be nice if we could. Obi's a beast. Okay, so... Oh, it's this pink-haired girl. What is this?
Oh. Oh, wow. Imagine knowing when fires are going to start and not doing anything to prevent it. I fit right, I'm just going to say it. I think this pink-haired girl is the person with the Adelo burst. Just from what I've seen from her in the opening. Oh no, it's an actual fire. Not a... Shit. At least it's not a... Hmm, okay. <laughs> if she's like this, she should be able to control the the fire, surely. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. This has to be her. This has to be the Adler Burst. I don't know anything about the Adler Bursts or who they are or what they are. But just as I said, what I'm seeing in the opening and whatnot. And the way it keeps, seems to be linked to this girl. It has to be her. She seems to be a bit of a bit of a chaotic neutral, I suppose. She will save people, but like she'll also profit from it, like. Jesus. That's pretty cool. Wow. This would be so helpful in an actual fire. Or like a, a you know, that was an actual fire, but a, a fire. He's got a point. She's a bit wacky. Oh. 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 If Natalie Burst is about to be born, does that mean she's going to get more powerful? Oh, I hope the fire force gets to her first. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. 
Oh no. Oh no. She's a bit wacky. Yeah, it seems seems about right. Exactly. It better be the fire force. Her ability would really be suited for to a firefighter. Oh, VR headset, cool. Having an engineer like engineer like that is so cool. Oh. Holy shit.
this has to, right, she has to be part of the Fire Force after saying that. Don't believe him. Don't take no. What is this? Oh. Oh, damn. It's like a video game, like trace the lines to activate your spell, your abilities or spells or whatever. Oh. Awesome. Shinra's gonna come beat your ass. Yes. What? It's just a quick knee to the face, is that a... That's not gonna happen, is it? What is this? Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's strong. Oh. Every episode, the animation is top tier. <laughs> oh my god. Bombshell gorilla. <laughs> oh, that was good. God damn, that was good. That was a good episode. I knew she'd be the fifth pillar from seeing her in the uh, opening and then kind of realizing that like it needs to be someone who's already, you know, of a certain age, who's not a baby or child, or whatever, um, a newborn, someone whose ability is about to be born, not there about to be born. That was really good, really fun episode. And hopefully, she seems very neutral right now, so hopefully she moves over to the Fire Force side. Because not just her being a pillar, her ability is still very, very useful for firefighters, like I said. Um, yeah, God, the animation at the end there was top tier, I loved it. <sighs> Dave Production, I'm going to keep congratulating you for every single episode, I guarantee, because they're all just so good. <laughs> But uh, yeah, overall a very good episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.